welcome back to this new video um this video i'm going to show you how you can um interact with databases um using lang chain um so um let's jump right in um so as you can see i have um a database file here chinook um dot db file um so if we use sqlite um let me do this so if i say if i say sql like chinook.db and then i hit enter and then i say dot tables you see it gives it gives me all the table names um let me close this and then do this one more time and then i say the tables you can see these are all the tables in the database and if i say select star from customer limit 10. okay you see these are the contents in this table okay so these are the records okay and if I also do select star from let's say album um limit ten. See these are the album information. Okay, so we are going to query this database from our lang chain application using the open uh AI um api keys okay um so let me clear this and then i'm going to create a new file this file i'm going to call it sql light long chain demo okay so i'm going to import some few stuff so i'm going to say from long chain import open ai then we're going to also import sql database as well as um sql um database chain okay so these are just a few imports um i'm also going to import os and then um i'm going to insert my open ai api key in here um don't forget i'm going to delete this um just after the video okay so don't try to use it it's not going to work so we are going to instantiate our sql database so we're going to say db is equal to sql database and then we say dot from from uri the uri we are going to pass in the chinook.db file in there okay so we're going to say SQL light colon triple four slashes. Make it three. Make sure it's three, not two. Okay. Um, then I'm going to pass in the chinook.db file in there. Then the next thing is the LLM that we are going to use. We are going to use the open AI um class, and then we pass in let's say the temperature is 0 0.3. And then we're going to say verbose is equal to true. And then we are also going to instantiate the SQL database chain. So we're going to say DB chain is equal to SQL chain dot from, from LLM. And then this is going to take the LLM as the DB. Um, and then maybe the prompt, but we are not going to pass the prompt directly. So I'm going to pass the uh llm and then we also pass in the db um we can also pass in the base prompt template uh in there but just gonna ignore that and we say verbose is equal to true and um lastly we are going to also print db.get table names 
So I'm going to run this and let's see what the table names are. So as you can see, these are the table names, media type, play album, customer, artist, invoice, general, and all that. So these are all the table names in that database. Okay, so I can um I can now run print statement on db chain dot run and then we pass in our prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna create a list of queries. So I'm gonna say queries is equal to this, and then we say how many employees are there? You see. Since we have employees, um, employees table, we are asking how many employees are here, but um, the application land chain is going to figure out which table to use for this um, question. Okay. And then the next qu query we are going to use is how many albums albums by okay so let me do this first so let's do the um let's check the tables and then i'm going to say select star from al album and then where okay limit 10 okay so Uh, these are some names, okay, the album ID and then the album name, okay, and some other ID, okay. So we want to, um, okay, so I know all the fields in there. There are three fields in there. So that is the schema, okay. So let me close this. Bye. How many albums by Aerosmith? Okay. So now we can loop over the query. So we say for query in queries, um, we want to pass in the query and then we're going to index in the, this. Okay, and then maybe I'm going to print some few lines to separate the results. Okay, so this is all we, we need to do. So I'm going to run this and see if this is going to work. If it doesn't work, um, I'll change the query. So um, don't worry about that. Okay, so I think we have some issue with the employee statement. It says a select count from employee. Okay. Okay, so let me see. Not sure why. How many employees are there? Okay, let me rerun it and let's see what you get. So yeah, so I think it works now. I don't, I'm not too sure why the first time it didn't work, but as you can see, the query was how many employees are there? And then it says select count staff from employee and then it printed it. So it answers that there are eight employees. So the finished answer is what there are eight employees. And then the second query, how many uh, albums by Aerosmith, select count from album where artist ID is equal to three. So it knew that the artist ID, so if we copy this query and then we go into the SQLite, 
Um, and then find this. You see, it, it says what well, one, the results is one. Um, just like you can see here, one album by Aerosmith. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is how you can query your databases. So um, you can actually connect this application to a real database. Let's say my SQL, Postgres, and all of that. So if you want to investigate more into this, um, you can do so. Um, I think the SQL queries, you need to pass it through this SQL um, database. Let me see what other methods are there. Um, run from URI. And then it also takes some keyword arguments, um, get table info, table info. Yeah, so these are the basic uh, methods. Let me see the... from LLM, run, a call. Yeah, you can look into the documentation and see what is available, but um, I believe you just need to pass the database information through this SQL database, and you should be able to query, um, query your tables, okay? So, um, yeah, I think that is all. So if you make it verbose, you are going to see all the information right here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.